jakey. Wakey, wakey, jakey. What's going on? Mate, it's time for the first ever backyard feed. And you're the chef. I suppose we better get to it. Take What are we cooking today, Is First of all, we have to have a look in and trust in the esky here. What's the, the, not, ma the magic esky? The magic esky. See what the ingredients not are. Not so right? little, but let's have a let's have a look what we've got uh, preordained. All right, so let's pull out our ingredients. What have we got there? Oh, we got a little bit of olive, olive oil, salt and pepper. You never go astray with uh, a bit of salt and pepper, especially if you like uh, '90s R&B and hip hop. We got some Italian red wine vinegar. Whole grain mustard. Look at that, we got some pre packed uh, rocket. Looks like it came straight from the veggie patch. Yeah. Oh. In a plastic container. Well, there's Beauty, one of my favourite of uh, from the vegetable family. The sweet potato. Very sweet. What type of vegetable is Much that? Much like myself. What family does that come from? Uh, it's one of those root ones, you know. It's, it has a root. It's normally in the garden. Speaking of roots, we also have the beets. Shout outs to uh, beetroot. Okay, and we have uh, some feta cheese. So, I thought, you, I thought you were going to say fettuccine. Yeah, feta cheese, all right. Uh, maybe in the coming weeks we might make some uh, uh, local fettuccine. Now, yeah. you might be asking what meat are we cooking with? Is this vegetarian or is this... Uh, is there a meat? Well, let's see what we have right here. Tupperware. Something we prepared a little bit earlier, and the reason why this is in the container already is it has been mar marinated overnight. So here we have some uh, diced kangaroo meat for so, you viewers out there. So how do you marinate that? What, what's, what's the go with the marinade? So this is covered in uh, lemon juice and thyme, garlic, Smells quite nice. We're going to get it over to the barbecue in just a sec. Just Whack it sit, on there. Sitting in the fridge overnight, huh? That's it. Now the first thing that Izzy's got happening over here is the barbecue is going at medium heat, all right? And he's going to get his sweet potato and he's going to cube it up. He's going to chop it up into cubes. That's we are. Oh, And like that, we have a bigger bowl. Beautiful. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to drizzle some olive oil all over these roasted, uh, well, soon to be roasted, sweet potato. Make sure you take the lid off the pepper so you can actually, you can never be too much pepper. Salt, you can go a little bit lighter. Okay. Now, the beets need to be washed. And we do not have a sink, but we do have a hose. Now, once your beets have been thoroughly washed in your sink or in your hose, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap them in glad wrap. Of course, we're not wrapping them in glad wrap. Are you silly? Our foil. Aluminium foil. 
for those. You can also, in this climate and uh, the way things are going right now in the world, you can also make a hat. So, very good. And we have one safe package protected from alien species and uh, government uh, wire tappings and not sure what they're going to be tapping a beetroot for, but you never know. You never know. So this is the this is the deadly dreaming backyard backyard feeds, and you are watching right now Izzy and Monks. I'm sure you'll see him in the camera at some point, but not at the moment. So right now we have our aluminium covered beets and we have a sweet potato. We might crack a little bit more pepper in there to get it on the get it on the ones underneath. And what we're gonna do is just get these on the barbecue while we get ready for the kangaroo. Alrighty, we'll get our get our beetroots wrapped in our foil, bung them on there. We've got our sweet potato, we're just gonna tip it. Make it bold even bigger now. What's going on? Okay. We're gonna we're gonna let this do its thing for about 30 minutes, and then you'll catch us in the next phase. Oh, shit. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the beets and the sweet potato to do its thing in a barbecue, we're gonna make a dressing for our salad. So, Mr. Marx. Yep. What do we need? You want your olive oil? All right. Yes. For your olive oil, you want two tablespoons. You can always be generous with with the olive oil. Yeah, go on, Jamie Oliver. <laughs> Jamie olive oil. Uh. <laughs> okay. What else we got? Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Ah, uh, the stuff that you tried to burn my nostrils out before. Don't, don't even bother explaining that, eh? Yeah. Uh, inside, inside info. No. Just you know, cleaning of the barbecue preparations. Uh, that was quite full on. Okay, what else we got? Teaspoon of whole grain mustard. Oh, beautiful. Okey doke. And maybe run the hose over that teaspoon. <laughs> and a bit of paper towel. Back to our back to our backyard uh, kitchen. Alright. Maybe a bit of paper towel on that and then get a teaspoon of uh, caster sugar. What would I do without my trusty guide and cameraman? Unbelievable. Make a dodgy tasting meal. Uh, teaspoon? Yeah. Okay, we chuck that in there and where else what, what else we got? Bit of salt and pepper and we should be right. Again, I'm a big fan of pepper and any spice. The only thing missing at the moment, in my opinion, from this meal is chili. I will put chili in everything. But Again, so that's your, that's, that's your prerogative. Okay. Well, now we sit and wait for uh, our veggies to cook on the uh, barbie. Give you a little uh, dressing here, a bit of a mix, because uh, this is where we're gonna, this is where we're gonna end up throwing the sweet potato and beets into. Alrighty, so you can see those, uh, man, that sweet potato is looking pretty good, huh? Lovely. Lovely. Mate, it's charred on all sides. It's, it's, it's almost like you've already been flipping it. Mate, it's perfection. Now, we're just going to 
put this in here for now because we're going to let it cool down before we get it into our salad. Plus, we're going to get the uh, the kangaroo onto here. Man, that smells good. What do you reckon, Monks? You a fan of uh, sweet potato? Yeah, mate. What's your favourite vegetable? Probably sweet potato. Yeah, same. I like it. Yeah. 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 Now we may have lost our light, but we have not lost our enthusiasm, and we have not lost any of this. So we're ready to go. Beetroots are still still hot. We're gonna chop the end off. Don't worry, I'm not just throwing them on the ground. I have a bin down here. Okay. Now, we want to peel these, peel the outside layer off, but I might just cut it off just to be a little quicker. Actually, not too bad. Okay, so we've got our beets, we've got our sweet potato, we've got our salad ready to go, we've got our meat ready to chuck on the, chuck on the barbie. This is the messiest stuff ever. Be true, isn't it? You know the video I like? You, know, you asked him? Yeah, what, oh, well, I didn't ask you, but... You did before. No, I did ask you before, that's right. I didn't ask him then. Uh, what vegetable? Well, especially for barbecue. Yep. Corn. Corn. And zucchini. Oh, zucchini. Yeah, zucchini's a good one. I do like zucchini. Especially... um. Yeah, if you get it roasted or whatever. Yeah, just just see what you do. You maybe chop them into just like maybe your whole or just into halves. You wrap them up in your um, foil, chuck them on there, and they just get so juicy on the inside. Yeah, I bet. Okay, one beetroot. Get it over to our Okay. Now the beetroots are the ones that actually did soften up all right. They're, they're the ones that take longer. To soften up, so you might need longer time on the barbecue to soften these up. They are quite hard, but this one, these are these are done all right, I think. So we just get rid of the skin and we cut them into cubes, just like our sweet potato. Kind of like cubes. You, just, you can cut them into circles if you want. I don't care. Do what you want to do. It's your life. Live it. Cut it how you want to cut it. Look at that. Expert cut. Okay. One more to go, and then we can get this roux on the barbie. The bit I'm most excited for. What are the... What are you doing with all them bits of beef? You're them on the ground. Yeah, yeah. What are they? What, is that a problem? I thought we were going to eat them. I thought I was just going to paint your floor purple out here. Didn't you want that done? No, I've got a bin down here. Oh, why, why are you wasting all the beach with them? No, it's just a skin. It's just a skin. Relax. Would, would I, would I just throw beetroot onto your ground? Never mind. Don't answer that. Sure. Tell me off camera what you really think about me. People don't need to know. But um, what other, I guess, native foods have you have you tried? I mean, I've, I've I didn't mind croc. No, I wasn't a fan. The only, no? place, the only place I had croc was at this, um, it's like Freddo's Pies, just outside of the Ah, yeah, that place is a bomb. No, I, I, had, <laughs> I tried the crocodile pie there. I was like, oh, this is wrong. I think I might have had camel. I had camel at Center Point once. Did you? That was wrong, too. Yeah, Fredo's is, uh, Fredo's or however you want to pronounce it. Oh, I'm not sure. It might be Fredo's. I don't know. Fredo's, Fredo's. It's the uh, Kempsey's, uh, I don't know if they're proud of it, but it's. It's the most. No, but now that they've got the um the new highway going through that way, 
Yeah. You don't have, you don't really drive past. Oh, you don't go past it anymore. Yeah, you don't go past the pie shop unless you want to. Oh, okay. It's not like I a, wonder if they've lost uh, business. Oh, mate. I'm sure they would have. This is the era of COVID. You know. Oh yeah, especially mate, every, now. Everyone, everyone's lost business. Get yourself some bat pie. You know, <laughs> they might have bat pie. No, you know what? I mean, they had camel pie. This is. Uh, no, I, I honest, do like beetroot. This is a lot of beetroot. This is a lot of beetroot. We probably could have got away with two. We probably could have got away with one. You're talking about bat pie? <laughs> yeah. This mulberry tree that, you, that you're standing under? The bats love hanging out in this tree. I bet they do. Bro, we could make a paint with this stuff. Look at it. If you see purple stains on the uh, ground around here, that's not beetroot. It never happened. That, that's, that's bats and mulberries. True. Mate, your chopping board looks like a Quentin Tarantino film. Mate, there's more being done here than just the little kangaroo, that's for sure. Whack rappers. Lord. Okay, we're pretty much rude to slam we're pretty much rude to slam our you get what I'm saying. You wanna use English buzz? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put the roo on the barbecue. Alright. I'm gonna muck around here. Oh I'll get away for that. It smells good. Cameraman, smell it. The camera's not gonna smell it. Nice, nice, okay, we'll get back to this in a sec. Just like a bit of a minute, but we are just throwing things around. Okay, looks like a big patty. There we go. Oh, the time. The time we're having smell in this time. Yeah, that smells good. Okay, this isn't going to take long at all, so we might just uh, we'll flip it around in a sec, but we might just uh, let it sit, close the lid on down, and uh, leave that for a minute, and get back to our solid. Okay. What a bloody mess. Look at this. Probably covered in beetroot. Okay, so we've got our bowl, got our dressing in there. We thought the easiest way, put our dressing in there, we'll get everything in there, mix it around, voila. So, we have some uh, feta cheese and we have some rocket. We might take a couple of handfuls of um, rocket, bung it in here, we're gonna tip all of this in here, give it a, give it a nice little mix around, get all the Get all the flavors mixed up amongst it. Okay. Get our rocket. And we'll get our feta up again. And we don't need too much feta, we might just cut off. About half, cut them into little cubes, and bung them in there. I reckon, how's that looking? Yeah. I reckon that roux is about ready to come off there too. I reckon you're right. So, salad's ready to go. Well, there we have it. Our roasted sweet potato and beetroot salad. Mm -hmm. Kangaroo coming up in a sec. Let's plate these up. There you have it, marinated kangaroo and sweet potato with beetroot.
salad. Let's give it a whirl. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Cheers. See you next week.